John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures, Serious Testing, Successful Hunting. Today I'm going to be testing another Annihilator Broadhead. This is the XL, but in 100 grains. Now, I previously tested the original, and then I tested the 125 grain XL, but now they've come out with a 100 grain model. And so, because I've updated my testing regimen, it's a good opportunity to retest some heads I've already tested anyway, but now they have this new 100 grain model, so it's a perfect time to test this head. So, it's really an interesting design. Design. If you're not familiar with it, I'll zoom on in here, go through some of the design features and specifications, as well as you can check out my previous tests of the other weight and the other size models to see what you think about those. But for all my tests, I'm using my Bowtech SR6 set at 72 pounds. I'm using Bishop FOC King Arrows for most of the shots, but then I'm using uh, the, the Bishop Fad Eliminators for the really hard impact ones as well. So let's check out this new 100 grain Annihilator XL. Here's a good look at the head. And man, these Annihilator heads just look really cool. They kind of look like the tip of a lot of other broadheads. They're just like a giant tip. So super short profile is gonna aid in flight. And then this scoop design is also going to aid in flight as well as it's going to create quite a wound channel. And I'll show you that in just a second. Now the cutting diameter on this is 1 and 1 16th inches, whereas the original Annihilator was under 1 inch of cutting diameter. This is 1 and 1 16th inch, uh, so 1.06 inches of cutting diameter with three blades, that gives it a total cut of 1.59 inches. However, it makes an even bigger hole than that because of this scoop design. So you see this like surface area right here. Rather than just being three blades and then like a, a circle in the middle for the, the ferrule or for your arrow shaft, this is really going to make a triangular hole and it cuts about one and a half times as much uh, tissue or forces a hole one and a half times larger than a typical three blade head with the same cutting diameter. So that's kind of cool. And, uh, and the blades are 0.038 inches thick at their thinnest portion, but they get wider and wider as they get closer to the center there. So you can see how it's going to displace a lot of tissue and make a hole that's going to be difficult to close up. Now it's made out of a single piece of steel and it's 4140 tool steel. It's an alloy that they use that in my previous tests has been very durable. So I'm interested to see if this 100 grain design is as durable as those others have been. And you notice that it's a double bevel sharpened all the way around as well as on these back edges to aid in pulling it out of a target or if it's backing out of an animal, it's gonna cut tissue as it does it. And for resharpening, uh, the, the blade, uh, the bevel angle is 30 degrees on each side or 60 degrees total, which allows you to just lay it flat on any surface. Like, you know, a sharpening stone, you can just lay it flat like that, or you can use the, the bottom of a plate or your coffee mug or a rock in the field, or even in a pinch, you can use the glass on the, the window of your truck. Just roll it down halfway and on the edge of your glass, just rub it across that and it'll really get sharp. And if you want to get it even extra sharp, then you can get a Stay Sharp Guide 344 sharpener, which in essence what it does is it changes the bevel angle from 60 degrees to 44 degrees. And it doesn't take away very much, not even a noticeable amount at all, of the weight of the broadhead still has the edge super durable and it's going to be about 15 to 20 percent sharper. In a previous video that I did last year of the Annihilator, you can see me demonstrate that and how I made the head a lot sharper. So check out the, the Stay Sharp Guide 344 if you want to make it extra sharp or just at 60 degrees, you can just lay it fat, flat and stroke it like that and use it as it is. So really eager to see how this head performs. Four hundred. It penetrated eight and one quarter inches. 
I know it doesn't look like that the way the lens lines up with the tape, but that's the measurement, eight and a quarter inches. Four hundred. It penetrated through 65 layers. Still looks brand new after going through the MDF three times. Still in perfect condition after going through the steel plate two times. Here you get a good look at the holes in the steel plate to the lower left and the upper right of the broadhead. And if you compare those holes to the hole below it, which just so happened to be there, uh, that's more classic three blade head where there's just kind of the circular ferrule and then three slits. I mean, look at the difference in the surface area that's displaced in the steel plate. Here's the head after hitting the concrete. And man, what can I say about this? This is after going through three layers of the MDF and then two times through the steel plate and then into the cinder block. And it still could easily be resharpened. It's just in excellent shape, extremely durable broadhead. So what'd you think of this head? I tell you what, it's really worth a look, all right? The flight, the durability, the penetration, they're really on to something here. So check out the score sheet and you can see uh, you know, how it performed in each of the areas that I tested and see if it might be a right fit for you. But I say great job, Annihilator. Keep up the great work. <laughs>